well, I think everyone knew we, we needed a keeper or we were in the market for a keeper. Um, it was only Monday night at the fans forum um, when fans rightly so were asking what was happening in relation to a number one coming in. Um, look, it's been work in progress, um, not just during pre-season but in the off-season as well, the whole recruitment window. Um, we've been looking for a, a suitable candidate to come in and, and take that number one jersey. Um, and finally, we've, we've found one in relation to Cam. Um, but we're looking for a bit of experience within this team, um, which sounds strange. He's still relatively young in terms of that and not played too many games, but he's experienced of a higher level um, and, and bigger crowds and bigger expectation than maybe ourselves and our level is something which attracted us to, to him. Um, and we're going to give him the opportunity to play as many games as he possibly can, um, but also influence his team in a, in a positive manner. And I think we've already got a great relationship with Darren Moore from his West Brom days. So obviously really grateful to him for allowing Cameron to come as well. Yeah, I think it bodes well in terms of um, you look back in time at Dara and, and Kane and Kyle um, and how successful their respective long spells were um, several seasons ago. Um, and obviously Darren was involved in that. So he's got an understanding of the club even before my time and um, the way we work and how we'll look after any loan players. Um, look, we'll treat them as our own, um, fully invested in, in their pathway and their career. Um, and their game time and we'll have a continued dialogue um, with, with staff at Sheffield, Sheffield Wednesday in relation to how he's performing, how he's training, how he's fitting into to the squad. Um, but like we said, you know, there's a reason why we signed him. Um, there were other keepers available, um, some younger pro profiles, something we've, we've worked with in the past. Um, but where our squad is at this moment in time, we thought this was the right fit. And obviously, we know he's got that championship experience. He's got that big game experience as well, having played in, in the Sheffield Derby and things like that. Yeah, there would be games to play in, um, but there's, there's no different, the game of football is a game of football, the pressure is still the same, um, whether it's Bradford for us first game of the season or, or Wickham in the cup or you know a few fixtures down the line or like you just mentioned at a Sheffield Derby, it's, it's the same, it's three points at stake and it's passionate fans, whether there's 20,000 people there or, or 2,000 people there, the, the outcome is still the same um, and it's all about performance, so you know, there's a reason why we got Cam and we were able to obtain him, um, but we're, we're hopeful and we're expecting of a, a good signing in relation to that and, and like I say, we We've tried to be as patient as we possibly could be um, in waiting for the right fit, which we feel, feel would suit our team and certainly suit that, that back line, that unit, so to speak. Um, and we feel comes up the right man. And of course, we've got two more pre-season games before the season starts. That's two opportunities for him to gel. That was key, absolutely key, um, because there were other goalkeepers available, but not available at this moment in time. Um, and as much as you want uh, as many players to play as much as pre-season as you possibly can. The goalkeeping department or the goalkeeper position is maybe one you can do a little bit later. Um, we learned that with the, the emergency loan in relation to Jockel last season. So, look, he'll go straight into training today and um, get some game time this weekend against Shrewsbury. Um, and then we'll look to build him up next week. Um, and the more time he spends with his teammates, the, the better for everyone. And he, like I say, he has to go into that first home game feeling comfortable with what's in front of him. But the way we play as well, um, and it's not just learning each other's names, it's just about learning our, our style of football um, and his role to play within that and of course his experience that we've already spoken about but that will also be a great help to the likes of Jack and Harry not just with Scott as a coach but having Cameron there as well yeah you, you look at that goalkeeping group I suppose now um, and we, we've seen him this pre-season we've seen when Scott's had to play how reliable he is and what a good influence he is on the, the players in front of him um, but also what a good coach he is and Due to the injury, unfortunately, with Harry, he's not featured too much in terms of game time. But we saw glimpses and moments of his, his real quality on, on Tuesday against a strong Bristol City team. Jack Arthur has had a little bit of game time with ourselves and obviously gone on loan to Biddeford. So he, he's getting the balance of, of good game time and experience. And all of a sudden, those younger keepers are getting close to where we need them to be, um, which is selectable for our first team. Um, and they'll only become selectable if they keep on gaining that valuable, valuable experience. Um, that experience won't always come with, with game time. It'll also come through training um, and with training training with, with Scott on a daily basis but also a keeper of Cam's quality should hopefully improve their, their own development um, and enhance that, that experience they're gaining on a, on a daily basis. With that then, there's nine days to go until the start of the League Two season. Are you expecting any more uh, movements at all in the transfer market? There's always a chance, um, potential ins and outs. Um, I've said several times um, it's, it's a constant battle to keep hold of some of our younger players who are rightly so in demand. Um, but we're still looking to strengthen this group of players. Um, there's still players who haven't featured yet. Josh Gold is not featured as yet. Um, he's an exciting prospect within within the group who no one's seen and has almost gone under the radar in relation to this pre-season. Um, but we're still looking to improve it. Um, and certainly if we, we lose any players, then we'll look to strengthen certain areas of the squad. But today today's a big day because the goalkeeper is such an important position within any, any group or any team. Um, and we're pleased to get this one over the line.